What's up everyone, it's Bucky. Welcome to your next tutorial in robotics and electronics. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you about one of my favorite pieces of electronics. And these, let me see if I can zoom in. These little things right there are called calcium sulfide photoresistors. Those little tiny things right there. And if you're saying, what the heck do they do? Well, I'm about to tell you. In the last tutorial, I showed you how a potentiometer could change its resistance based on turning the dial right there. Well, what photoresistors do, these little things right here, and uh, just a little tidbit of information, they're also called photocells and photoconductors. They all mean the same thing. So what these photocells do is they change their amount of resistance based on how much light it receives. So the easiest way to show you guys this is just to hook it up to a multimeter and show you guys. So right now it's kind of medium lightness in my room. So this is giving off about um, 15 or let's say 13,000 ohms. But when I, let's uh, darken up a bit. As you can see, as I block some of the light out, it gives off more resistance. Now it's giving off 27,000 ohms. Let me darken it some more. Now it's giving off about 50,000 ohms of resistance. And let me make it completely dark, put my finger over it. It's now giving off 100, or let's say between 90 and 100 ohms of resistance. So the darker it gets, the more it resists and therefore the lighter it gets the more electricity it allows to pass through it and this is going to be useful in a robot and they have these in things like uh, night lights for kids and they have them in um, street lights and stuff where stuff that it automatically changes the amount of electricity due to the amount of light it receives so these things are awesome one of my favorite pieces of electronics that we'll be working with and they're extremely cheap so again I encourage you guys to go out and pick up some photocells or photoresistors this is what they look like and don't forget to subscribe and check out my next tutorial so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time